In this video, we're gonna to put together a really cool 22 arc bolt action hunting rig in Ultradyne's new UD5 chassis. Yabagu here from ultimatereloader.com. Here on Ultimate Reloader, you've seen the UD7, you've seen the UD3, now we're gonna take a look at the UD5. It's Ultradyne's chassis system, three different lengths, three M-lock slots for the UD3, five for the UD5, and seven for the UD7. So you have kind of a short, medium, long type set of configurations that you can pick from. This is cool. These are in Coyote Tan. I've got the adjustable buttstock, the UD adjustable buttstock, the UD5 chassis, and this is the UD single thumb rest grip for right-handed shooters like myself. So let's get this componentry out of the box. Ooh, very nice. One thing I like about Ultradyne is they do a great job with their packaging. You can see this closed cell foam here, precisely cut to fit, really good stuff there. So we have the chassis itself, and that looks like the perfect length. One of the things I'm thinking about when I choose between the UD3, the UD5, and the UD7 is how far forward I need to go with my bipod. This rig is likely to be used mostly from a standing behind tripod type shooting position. So I think the UD5 strikes that balance between short and nimble, but long enough we could throw a bipod on and not be too, held too far back, if you know what I mean there. Got a bit of hardware here. The front and rear action screws. We've got the set screw that secures the butt stock in that keyway, the Allen key for this set screw. And then we have, actually that, that smaller Allen key is for the smaller set screw. Okay, the UD adjustable butt stock, also in Coyote Tan. Notice we have the bag rider on there. Uh, this is the polymer version. They also have a, a steel version. So I might leave that on there. If it was the steel version, I might take it off because we want this rig to be relatively lightweight. Okay. We have a cheek riser on this guy as well, which is also really nice. Again, really nice packaging you know it's gonna to arrive to you in really good shape when you see that kind of thing. And let's also get out the grip. Cool thing about this chassis is it's gonna work with any AR-15 or AR-10 style grip, so you have plenty of options to choose from. And like all proper grips, it has the Allen screw, right? So you can put that onto the end of your Allen key and install that without the old flippy kind of straight slot screwdriver action with the screw dangling and causing much frustration. I don't like much frustration. I like straightforward goodness. Okay, so that is the componentry. Next, we're gonna take a look at the barreled action. Well, here it is, all of the components for the build. We've got the, the UD5 main chassis section, the buttstock, the grip. We're gonna use a magazine that I modified for 224 Valkyrie. Also works very well with the, the, the 22 arc. We've got a suppressor and a bipod, barreled action. This is a rifle that I put together based on a BAT TR, tactical bolt action. We've got the appropriate 441 uh, bolt face for the 22 arc cartridge. It's the same as the 6.5 Grendel, the 6 arc, the 7.62 by 39. I started with a ballistic advantage barrel blank, one and seven twist, 22 caliber, and heavy profile. This was chambered on the breech end and threaded 5.8-24 on the muzzle end. I have a whole video on the build that you're gonna wanna check out. Now I put this together in a heavy target stock just to shoot from the bench and to do my low development. Uh, this is gonna be a much better hunting configuration. We have the Thor LTV thermal on right now for night hunting 
If we go out to say 700 yards and beyond that kind of thing, I'll probably throw on a conventional optic so that we can have better long range performance. So this barrel also Coyote Tan, I kind of thought this would go together really nice as a package. Over here we have the Rock Vice from Aero Products. This is a really cool tactical uh, vice that you can use with Arca or with Picatinny. So if you have a tactical pistol or any tactical rifle with a, an Arca rail on it, this is gonna work super good. And we're gonna start with the buttstock because we have to get this set screw in before the grip kind of covers it up. So what's cool about this rock vise is we just clamp it to the Picatinny section and then when we lock it in place, look at how firm that is. It is just totally, totally rock solid. Okay, so buttstock. Go ahead and start to screw this in. Okay, I can see kind of the keyway there. That should be good right there. We'll grab our set screw. The Allen key for this comes with chassis, which is nice. We'll get this appropriately indexed. Then we can get our castle nut tightened. Okay, so that's tightened down. Castle nut wrench, same as the AR. Don't have to go super overboard with that. Just the solid nature of this rock vise is so helpful when, when you're doing things like this. Okay, so let's get our 3 16 Allen key, get our washer and screw, and we'll go ahead and push this up through. Okay. Lower it down into place. Tighten the old screw and we'll be good. Very nice. Okay, so the nice thing uh, about this particular buttstock is we've got the cheek riser, and then we can add this other set screw on the other side. That's gonna clamp this all down as a unit. Now, if we loosen it enough, we can actually adjust our length of pull by rotating the entire buttstock. This is gonna to have to come out for that. So I like a longer length of pull, say like that. Actually, we're gonna go just a little bit more. Do you wanna keep this a little bit more compact for the hunting configuration? And now we can adjust the cheek riser with this, with this screw and it also locks everything together. Now that's nice and solid. Yeah, I like that. This is nice and solid. I think the UD5 is gonna be the perfect proportions for this hunting rig that we're gonna to put together. Next, we'll put the chassis and the barreled action together. So for the barreled action install, I like to stand up the stock vertically, or chassis in this case, and then I'm just looking at this recoil lug and I'm gonna put that into the pocket there. You have to be a little bit careful of your trigger. If you bang your trigger very hard, you could kind of destroy it, <laughs> break the shoe off. Long action screw in the rear, short action screw in the front, and I've got my 3 16 hex key here. I'm just going to kind of hold that together. I could already feel that front action screw seat. Okay, now those, those are essentially finger tight. Give it a little wrap to make sure she's back against you know, the recoil lug is against the lug seat there. That feels like it's tightening down nice and solid, which is how I like to feel that. Not a bad idea to use a torque limiting screwdriver for that to bring it up to the proper torque. I personally like to do it by hand. I've done hundreds, if not thousands of those. Okay. This is looking pretty good, I would say. Let's get this mag in here. Nice. 
Look at that, huh? That is an awesome hunting rig. Put the suppressor on. So this is now a completely awesome compact hunting rig. And we've got all the modularity that we're gonna need to shoot from the bench, to go day hunting, to go night hunting. I think this would be a great 6.5 PRC if we had a different chambering, obviously, for big game hunting. A lot of different things that we can do with this. I think it's time to go shooting, so let's do it. Kind of do this all day. Can't remember how many rounds I loaded. There we go. Awesome. That's always nice. That's pretty damn loud. Mega Mirage off the can. <laughs> three for three. Nice. Nice metal. Sneak off one more. <laughs> awesome. It's been so fun. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I'm gonna mag out and see if I can see what's going on. I'm gonna go up a mill. We're on him. <laughs> Impact. That's a hit. That's an impact. Let's 
go for two in a row. That's an impact. And we have three in a row. Hell yeah. Four in a row. <laughs> nice. Nice. Four in a row at thirteen ninety with the twenty two arc. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most fun shooting I've had in a long time. Up there on the ultimate reloader ridge line, we had just plowed the entire Jeep road, the whole way up and the whole way down, plus the ridge line itself. Beautiful 20 degree weather, absolutely love it. And one of the changes I've made to the rifle before I went up to the ridge line was to put this Athlon Cronus 4.5 to 29 by 56 scope which performed amazingly we got a really really good zero we're shooting 22 arc 75 grain eldm factory ammunition at about 3040 feet per second did some dope calculations spot on at 330 660 706 didn't miss a shot totally amazing feeling absolutely love the way this rifle performed and then i thought just Crazy thought, let's go out to 1390 it was to shoot Harold the four foot tall rock chuck. Took a little while to get on target as you saw. Uh, had to come up about one mil and I had a bit of wind. I had to hold off the left edge to get on target. But able to get four successive hits. Four in a row. At 1390 yards with a 22 caliber projectile. It speaks a lot for the 22 arc for the build that I did here, but also it speaks greatly to the stability of the chassis and the shootability of the platform. Length of pullover is right. Had the cheek riser just where I wanted it. Really good stable bipod. And I was wondering with the five slot, how that bipod position was gonna work out because as you can see over here on the UD7, we've got the seven slot plus a spigot so we can get that bipod way further forward. Turned out that it didn't matter. Now we could add the spigot to the UD5 and that's something that I might look at. But after shooting this today, I don't see the need for it. This thing is absolutely uh, amazing. Love this as a hunting rig, love it as a long range target rig as well. And with the Maverick su suppressor, we didn't really need hearing protection with the snow. I wore it anyway just because I'm trying to save what little remains of my hearing. Uh, but yeah, the UD chassis, it's real affordable. The chassis itself under 400 bucks. Uh, it works with any AR-15 buttstock. The Ultradyne adjustable buttstock works great. I like the bag rider that was really helpful when we were shooting prone and when I was doing my sight in, I throw a rear bag, just rear bag and bipod, kind of like how we were shooting off the ground when we were shooting at range, really good stuff. Uh, again, UD3, this is our latest incarnation of Shorty. UD3 has three slots, UD5 has five, and UD7 has seven. You can see here we've got external weights on the UD7. We did our custom Cerakote job. Uh, right now, I just looked, looks like Remington 700 inlets are available for both short and long action, left and right-handed, which is really cool. They also have Savage short action, and Voodoo, I believe. You're gonna to wanna to check the UD chassis product page to check out the complete list of options. And I believe all of them were available. There was a bit of a lead time on the long action. And that's why I did this build. I started with the idea of a long action build and hopefully we'll do that as our next UD chassis uh, build. Loving the way these things go together, loving the versatility. I'm sold on Arca, sold on M-Lock. It's got Dynalock. Uh, at first the chassis was sliding and then I thought, oh yeah, I've got my UD Carbon tripod with Dynalock. Clicked it up, retightened the clamp, boom. No more slippage, really 
a handy feature to have, especially you know with our, a rifle that's pointed down or pointed up, and then just the effective recoil, of course. So if you want to know more about these uh, different chassis configs, I would check out our recent shorty story with the UD3. Uh, definitely check out the UD7 build with the custom Cerakote and all that. I'd love to know what you all think. What do you think about the UD lineup of chassis? What do you think about my 22 arc build here with the UD5 in Coyote 10? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.